their lives are still full of exactly the same troubles that characterize human life in general. And so you, you compare yourself on one dimension, you don't see, well, the person's worked 80 hours a week for 40 years and it's blown all his relationships out of the water. You really are your only comparison group, especially as you get older, because your life is so idiosyncratic and peculiar that any compare, I mean, look, you have to care what other people think. It's stupid to think otherwise because you have to be social and you have to be aware of what other people are doing and all of that. So it's, this is psychopathic individual individuality, but it is genuinely true that no one has your set of opportunities and limitations. And so the, the, the comparison just isn't real. It can't be sufficiently multidimensional. You know, because maybe you see someone who's rich. I've dealt with, I've, I've met many people who are very, very rich. And you can look at their lives and they have these huge houses and material plenty. But, and they're shielded from many catastrophes that would hit someone without those resources harder. But their lives are still full of exactly the same troubles that characterize human life in general. And so you, you compare yourself on one dimension, you don't see, well, the person's worked 80 hours a week for 40 years and it's blown all his relationships out of the water. It's like, yes, he's rich, but he's also old now. You know, he's 60. And one of the best predictors of wealth is age. You know, really, do you want to be young and poor or old and rich? It's like, I'd pick young and poor because you can't buy youth. And so, and, and that's something that's worth considering, but you don't know what burdens the people you're jealous of are carrying so leave it be it's not it's not helpful to you to 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 be envious you know and i learned that looking at you know power mad c-suite types first of all they're generally not power mad because power is actually an unbelievably unstable way of establishing authority you you, you get you get slaughtered if you're not reciprocal in most reasonably functioning organizations and if you're in an organization that only rewards the um, exercise of power the probability that that organization is going to fail in totality is extraordinarily high because it's a tyrannical organization it'll lose touch with its customers so the c-suite types um they're they're working non-stop corporate lawyers in New York, you know, they make $700 an hour, but they work all the time, all the time. And there are people who are suited for, for that, but it isn't obvious that that's for everyone or that it should be, or that it's even desirable. Now it's a temperamental issue to a large degree. You know, many of those people are hyper conscientious. And so if they, they'll work, whatever, wherever you put them, what they would do is work. That's who they are. And it's biological as well. It's, you know, it's not all biological because traits are affected by learning and by environment in complex ways. But a huge chunk of it is that you're born like that. And that has advantages and disadvantages. So conscientiousness is a good example. Um, it's a good predictor of long-term life success. But people who are conscientious tend to tear themselves apart if they become unemployed, for example. You know, sometimes you get laid off. You worked hard, but you get laid off. Well, people who are conscientious will tear themselves into pieces with guilt in that situation because they tend to attribute so much responsibility to themselves. And so there's a price to be paid for conscientiousness. It, it, it opens you up to a certain set of vulnerabilities. So, you know, and you might be somewhat unbearable to your family too because all you ever do is work. You know, you think, well, you. You, you want to be a good, you want your father, maybe your husband, perhaps your wife, to be a good provider, but you want them to do that at the expense of everything 